And the Sutherland Rodeo Committee held their competition for Junior Rodeo Queen this morning ahead of the first performance tonight. The events began with a horsemanship competition. Queen contestants executed a planned pattern on their horse, being judged on how they control the animal and their presentation. After horsemanship, the contestants participated in a stock wrangling event, maneuvering a calf back to the chutes on their horse. Their final competition on the rodeo arena floor was the Queen Wave, where contestants practiced a wave around the stands. Janet Mueller, Sutherland Junior Rodeo Queen coordinator, says this entry-level pageant is designed for anyone to enter. Here it's very easy. I try to keep this as an entry uh, pageant. And so the requirements is just an age requirement of 15 or under as of July 4th. So we have kiddos that start at 8 and start to come up through the ranks to get their experience. And this is a great place to do it. After the arena competitions, the venue shifted to Sutherland's Legion Hall, where Junior Queen contestants participated in one-on-one -on -one interviews with the judges and a speech contest. While the winner will not be crowned until tomorrow night, Mueller encouraged people to attend the rodeo tonight for some family fun. Oh, please come out. It's always a family production, and it starts at 7 o'clock, and that is with the calf scramble and the boot race. So kiddos, get there early because we will start right at 7 o'clock. We will have some a few other things that's in the grand entry, go into the grand entry. Then we want to definitely try to be bucking at 7.30. Mueller encouraged anyone coming to the rodeo to wear the color lavender to support the fight against all cancers. Similar to the Buffalo Bill Rodeo's pink out night, gates at the Sutherland Rodeo Arena will open at 6.30 p.m. and we will have a recap and highlights from the Sutherland Rodeo tonight at 10. And a fireworks shop in North Platte is celebrating its 10th anniversary this holiday.